Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and this week is a huge week for the ATP, a monumental week. We could be seeing a new world number one in Daniel Medvedev if all the things go right. Now, we're going to be going through a lot of math in this video, so make sure you get your calculators out and try and stick with me because I know it's going to be a little bit all over the place at times, but we're going to go through every single scenario that it's going to take for Medvedev to become number one and for Djokovic to stay at number one by the end of next week. They're both playing in two different tournaments. We've got Dubai happening with Djokovic as the number one seed. Medvedev's the number one seed in Acapulco. And there are five different scenarios that we could see change the rankings this week. So let's start with number one. Okay, so scenario number one is if Medvedev loses in the first round of Acapulco and Novak Djokovic makes it to the second round of Dubai, that will be enough for Medvedev to take the world number one spot. However, if Medvedev loses in the first round of Acapulco and Djokovic makes it to the quarterfinals of Dubai, the Nole will stay at world number one based on the ranking points. So scenario number two is a little bit more complicated. If Medvedev makes it to the second round or the quarterfinals of Acapulco and Djokovic loses in the quarterfinal stage, then Medvedev will have just enough points to take the number one ranking. However, if Medvedev loses in either the second round or the quarterfinals and Djokovic makes it to the semifinals of Dubai, then Djokovic will take the number one spot or stay at the world number one. So scenario number three is a more likely scenario because we expect these guys to do well at these events. If Medvedev makes it to the semifinals of Acapulco and Djokovic does the same in Dubai, makes it to the semifinals, then Medvedev will be world number one. It won't be enough for Djokovic to stay at number one. If Medvedev loses in the semifinals of Acapulco, but Djokovic makes it to the final of Dubai, then it will be Nole who stays at world number one. Scenario number four, if Medvedev loses in the final of Acapulco, becomes the runner up and Djokovic also as the runner-up over in Dubai, that'll be enough for Medvedev to be world number one. However, if Medvedev makes it to the final of Acapulco and loses, and Djokovic wins the title in Dubai, then Djokovic will stay at world number one for another couple of weeks. And the final scenario is if Medvedev wins the title and Djokovic wins the title in their respective tournaments, it won't matter because Djokovic will not be able to hold on to his number one ranking. Daniel Medvedev will take the number one spot based on the points. So they're all the scenarios that are going to happen. I guess if you want to simplify it, Djokovic just has to do one better for the most part than Medvedev next week. So if Medvedev loses in the first round, Djokovic has to make it to the second round. If Medvedev makes it to the semifinals, Djokovic has got to make it to the finals. So that's sort of where we're at. Djokovic has to do one better. Now, the reason why uh, we're dealing with this situation is because Djokovic won Dubai two years ago. So he loses 500 points. And that's where this whole ranking has really, really come into uh, question and where it's becoming really exciting. So let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to be world number one by this time next week? I reckon Medvedev might take it for a couple of weeks, but then I think Djokovic is going to get it back in March. But you let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to be world number one in the next week?